Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and I'm back. Today we're going to be taking a look at these hockey wraparounds. What they've done is introduced an upgraded version. This is the old one here, and this is the new one. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the differences between the old and the new, letting you know what they've changed, and of course, sharing a bit of insight into why this is still something that every hockey player, regardless of if you're junior, senior, or where you are in the world, should definitely consider picking up. Let's get into it. So if you're new to these products over here, the hockey wraparounds, this is an off-ice stick protector that goes on the blade of your hockey stick that allows you to play hockey pretty much anywhere that you are. So if you're one of those types of players that wants to be able to get out of the rink, go home, go to a park, in your garden, wherever it is that you want to play the game, but you're concerned about damaging or ruining the blade of your stick because of the harsh or abrasive surfaces that are outside, this is exactly something that you should consider getting. This goes on the bottom of the stick's blade and helps to protect the stick so you can use it anywhere that you like. You're able to practice a variety of different skills with this, anything from stick handling, shooting, passing, even just generally playing things like deck hockey, ball hockey, or even a little bit of inline hockey. This thing has got you covered for all of those things. Now, over the years, we've seen rapid around go from introducing a steel version to a plastic version to now a material that they're referring to as a privately formulated polymer. So what I wanted to do here was shed a bit of insight into how they've adapted the new model when we VS it against the old. So Hockey Wraparound as a company have based their mission statement on making the game more accessible and allowing players to train anywhere. The idea behind that is to free us of the worry of ruining our expensive composite sticks, putting a wraparound on the end of our stick blades and being able to play the game wherever we want. Essentially by turning any space that you have to train, whether it be away from the rink or your house into your private hockey rink. So for me personally, these three new features that I picked up on straight away when I picked up the new wraparound. The new wraparound is also 33% thinner than the previous model. Something else that I noticed is that the teeth on the wraparound are actually a lot wider, so it makes it much easier to be able to attach it to your stick. From there is definitely going to be the crosshatch texture that you can see present on the entire surface of the wraparound along the sides. The idea behind that was to allow the wraparound to have better grip on whether it be a puck or a ball that you're using to stick handle or shoot with while you're away from the rink. Compared to the previous wraparound, the surface of the wraparound ice and also some of the other previous models that they've created was completely smooth. This wasn't a massive problem, but if you're trying to do any sort of fancy tricks or any sort of fancy stick handling, having this crosshatch design along the sides of the wraparound, having a kind of like more of an abrasive texture that's going to hold onto the puck or the ball a little bit better, will add a lot more ease to doing any of those types of things off of the ice. From there, something completely new that they've added was a wear indicator to the wraparound. So as the name suggests, this is essentially there to let you know how much of the wraparound you have left. So if you've been using it for a while throughout the whole of the summer and you don't know if you're going to be wearing into the base of your stick, that's exactly what that wear indicator is there to do. But it also doubles up at being able to show you which points of your stick are in contact with the ground. So if you're shooting and the lie on your stick is slightly high or low, the wear indicator will allow you to see that very clearly because you'll be able to see which parts of the wraparound are being worn away much faster than others. Ideally, of course, you want to have as much of the base of the stick blade in contact with the ground or the ice, and the wear indicator doubles up at being able to show you that. The way that the wear indicator works is that it's essentially a channel that runs through the base of the wraparound. Once you hit this channel of essentially hollow space, you know that the wraparound that you're using is almost at the end of its lifespan. Another change that's extremely subtle but can be missed if you're not looking at this very carefully is the fact that wraparound have removed these tiny notches that were all around the toe section of the previous wraparound models. By doing this, they've been able to create a wraparound that better wraps around the toe of the stick's blade. But aside from that, they've also been able to prevent breakages in these particular areas, which is something that I know some fans and users of Hockey Wraparound had given feedback about with the previous models of wraparound. So it's always nice to see that they do listen to the feedback that they get from their audience and make necessary changes to essentially make a better product. So this is definitely a nice upgrade to see. Aside from all of this, the new polymer that Wraparound are using for their new models also helps to add improved flexibility and durability to the model. So Wraparound have effectively improved the durability of the new model by not only removing the notches, but also by changing the privately formulated polymer that they've used to construct these things. So you can expect better durability and better flexibility from the new models. Of course, Wraparound's model still goes under the motto of one size fits all. This does fit senior and junior and also intermediate sticks. You can simply trim to fit the wraparound depending on the stick that you're using or depending on the player that's going to be using the wraparound that you've picked up. They're also now offering complete off-ice training kits, which comes with a green biscuit. So effectively, once you've got your wraparound and your green biscuit, any surface, any piece of ground that you can find to stick handle and play on becomes your own private rink. All of the links to pick that stuff up will be down below in the video description. 
As always, a big thank you for watching this video, and if we've missed anything out or if you have any questions about the wraparound or any of the previous models that they've created, leave your comments down below in the comment section. Big thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like these types of videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Side note, of course, everything that you need for wraparound will be down below in the video description, along with all of the other videos that we filmed for wraparound. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.